Welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is day one at a Robocop in Montreal. No competitions yet, everybody uh, is uh, busy with their preparations. And here we have the MSL team, the mid-size league football team of uh, Tech United Eindhoven. Let's see how far they are with their preparations. Ferry, what's happening? What's happening? We're updating the firmware of our uh, smart wheels in the new 8 wheel platform. So the, the, the firmware that the company is sending or that you yeah. made yourself? No, the firmware that the company is sending for these uh, smart wheel uh, units. There is a safety switch on it, luckily, but it was malfunctioning and now they updated the firmware. So we're making sure the robot is safe at first and then we're going to start driving with it. So when, when we compare it to, to uh, human football, we could say that you are the physio at this moment. <laughs> yeah, probably. So giving a massage or something. A massage for the robot, does yeah. it help? I hope so. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> Uh, maybe just quickly walk us through what's 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 happening here. We've got the wheels, we've got processing, we've yep. got we've got a camera. What are the most important parts? Yeah. So the difference with the other robots is uh, there's wheels in it. So he has four pairs of two wheels, so eight wheels in total to accelerate with, so we can drive uh, quite fast. Uh, this is the processing unit. So it's a computer with an Intel CPU that does all the uh, all the calculations for us, uh, all the smart things. Here on top is the vision, so with uh, this camera looking at the uh, parabolic mirror, he's able to localize himself, see the opponents on the field and also localize the ball. Next to that we have a Kinect camera in front, so which you can also use to, uh, to track the balls even in three dimensions. And even more important here on the front, we have the ball handling system. So these wheels are actually able to dribble with the ball. And uh, to score goals we have the kicker here in, underneath to uh, kick the ball at quite high speeds. Excellent. So all this input and all this output is all happening locally, nothing in the cloud. It's all happening here in this processing unit. Yeah, exactly. So that's what we call a multi-agent system. So each agent, each robot on its own does everything by himself. Uh, and indeed nothing is, yeah, uh, is on the side. Everything is inside the robot. Excellent. So two more days of preparation. Will you be ready? Um, hopefully. But yeah, if you turn around the camera, you can see that there's still no field yet. So that is a slight issue. <laughs> For the rest, uh, we hope to be prepared. Excellent. Good luck. So let's take a look at the at-home competition. They are at the other side of the venue. And right here we have more Dutch teams. Uh, ASML Falcons. Hello there. Hello there, Falcons. So more competitors from the Netherlands. We will, of course, uh, tell you what they are doing during the competition. There we are, Tech United at-home competition. Let's take a look at the stars being the robots themselves. Here we have uh, Amigo, who has been competing for uh, quite a few years now. And over there we have uh, Sergio. Uh, Sergio is the new platform and uh, let's see what the plans are and ask the team. What's happening at this moment? What, what are you doing today? It looks like nothing, <laughs> but it's very hectic. Okay. We are trying to get the software to work with all the usual problems, of course. As yes, you see, the hardware is blinking making sound etc so there's no problem there yet that will happen when the software comes alive so I'll we'll just have to wait for it and then it's my turn it's like every time it's 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 the birth of a robot you put the software in everything starts to live and so you are you are more the, the, the physical doctor looking at the hardware yes when things go wrong in the hardware all the people look at me <laughs> do it say they have to fix it so you can see I have to dress Sergio later on. Mm -hmm. He has part of his suit with him, yeah. not the arms. So he's at home, the one-armed uh, one bended, and the second arm will come. But you can say Amigo is on his way to retirement, mm -hmm. and Sergio is the new kid on the block. So the competition has yet to start. I wonder what the plans are, what the expectations are. Uh, let's ask team captain Matthijs. Matthijs, what, what do you expect from uh, this year's uh, RoboCup? Uh, so uh, we like really looking forward to the competition. Uh, it's going to be tough because we uh, in Germany we went there uh, like the first team was pretty ahead of us. So we are hoping so we can close the gap. Um, but at least if that's not possible, definitely a second place should be possible. Really, uh, really good. Let's hope we can uh, beat the first team from Germany and uh, let's hope we can win. I was there at the at the fan day. Um, uh, Amigo served me a few drinks. Has it advanced since then? Uh, no, not really. I don't think so. Okay. So, uh, so it can still serve me drinks? Yeah, it still serves drinks, yes. 
very much looking forward uh, to seeing the robots uh, in action. So good luck with that. So very busy day here, lots of preparations. Everybody is getting ready for that first day of competition on uh, Monday. We'll keep you informed and of course you can follow the entire competition here with us at Robocop.live.